not old. I am not old.
at the Jersey All Pro Wrestling 14th anniversary show, one of the feature bouts on this card. The crowd is going nuts for Bandito Jr., one of the participants in this. The best of the light heavyweights, Jerry Strauss. This is a match that pits six. Whose music is that? Monto, we haven't seen him in, in God knows how long. Wait, wait a second, prime time. I know I'm new here at all. Isn't this best of the light heavyweights? Well, Jerry Strauss. I didn't hear the formal announcement on his weight. He appears to weigh exactly the same, if not slightly more than the last time we saw him. However, that may be misleading. Maybe he has lost some weight that we're not recognizing. He is still wearing his t-shirt. Danny DeMonto, apparently now the seventh man in this match, as Pinky Sanchez, who's over there in the zebra tights, falls down as Danny DeMonto gets in the ring. And I gotta tell you, Pinky Sanchez's chances in this match would be a lot better if he took one thing seriously. You got Arcadia over there in the blue and the yellow Arcadia. We haven't seen since the 12th anniversary show. Um, he, I thought that he would come back here angry, but he is making friends over there with Pinky Sanchez. We haven't seen Arcadia since he angrily left. He lost the Jersey State title to the man who's next to him in the ring, and that's Devin Moore. As this match begins, of course, Azrael and Ricky Reyes in there as well. And everybody immediately going after the biggest target in the ring. That would be DeMonto. I don't know what you're talking about, whether his T-shirt's on or off. He is clearly not a light heavyweight. Oh! Well, again, Jerry, I mean, oh. commentator, not a scale. Double kick to the face! I've got eyes, dude. I mean, come on. Six of the best, most dynamic athletes in the world today, oh. and Danny DeMonto. And you gotta look at this. These two men have not met since the 12th anniversary. Jersey all oh, oh. wrestling show in Arcadia. Looks like he's extracting some revenge. You don't know this, Jerry Strauss, Arcadia invented the Pro Wrestling YouTube show. Before there was a Long Island true whatever, there was Arcadia putting out videos of how much, oh, down was Arcadia, how much he treasured his Jersey State Championship belt. Now he's in the ring, well, he was in the ring, with the man who took it from him, Devin Moore, who's up and down. Uh -oh. On to Arcadia. He went into a deep depression after losing that belt, and we haven't seen him until now, over two years later. Well, he better snap out of it if he wants to survive here. This is elimination style. You keep going until you get beat. Pinky Sanchez is now in there with Bandito Jr. Pinky Sanchez, the biggest goofball in all of Jersey All-Pro Wrestling. He seems like he's a talented guy. I wish he just realized he was inside of a squared circle sometimes. He's in there with Bandito Jr., a guy who the Jersey All-Pro audience have seen grow up right in front of their eyes. His father, a Jersey All-Pro Hall of Famer. <laughs> Pinky goes down hard, and that'll teach you to wrestle in an undershirt. Ricky Reyes certainly can play spoiler to anybody's high-flying antics in this one. This guy is the hardest hitter pound for pound in this match. Azrael rolls in Devin Moore for a cover. It's about time two of these seven guys got in the ring. This is elimination style now, Jerry Strauss. So the minute somebody gets pinned, they're out, and we keep going until one man is named best of the light heavyweights. Only two there. Azrael almost won uh, our last best of the light heavyweights on the 13th anniversary show, but he lost out to Jushin Thunder Liger. Well, Azrael, a four-time light heavyweight champion, in a way, he's sort of the centerpiece. He's the, he's the great one of the light heavyweight division. This could be it for Devin Moore, but it isn't, but it isn't. And there's Pinky Sanchez up and down. Oh. Looks like he, did he miss? I can't see from this vantage point. And certainly, that ass hit nothing but wood prime time. That's disgusting. Not that there's anything wrong with that. 
Azrael now is picking up the hurt Pinky Sanchez and drops him on that guardrail. You see, and that's that mean streak in Azrael. That's what you need to win a match like this. Arcadia trying to get that cover. Pinky Sanchez goofing around and dancing around is not going to do him any favors. Arcadia looking sharp, as you noted earlier. He's on the move, drops that leg, and again. Arcadia is in the best in-ring shape I think I've ever seen him in. I mean, let's be honest. He almost got him there towards uh, the last couple matches of that uh, last Jersey All-Pro run he had as Jersey State champion. There's a reason he started wearing a shirt in the ring. I'm just going to say that. Now, he's gotten himself into some respectable ring shape. YouTube shows don't build six packs. I think that's what Arcadia learned a couple years ago. Uh, I think all six of these men, seven I should say, are learning just how tough the competition could be this fast paced environment. Welcome back to Jersey All Pro, Arcadia. Arcadia with his foot on the rope. He remembers. He hasn't been here in a while, but he remembers. Saves himself from elimination, and now the Havana Pit Bull in the driver's seat mid ring. And this is more a pace of his liking. He is controlling Bandito Jr. Ricky Reyes is a guy who's had titles in Ring of Honor, UPW, various other promotions. He's been on the indie scene for over seven years. He's got something to prove to this Jersey All-Pro crowd on the 14th anniversary show. Back in Rawway after 16 months. Ricky Reyes is dominating in the ring while Azrael and Devin Moore dominate on the outside. And I'm telling you, Jerry, this is what you need. You need a mean streak. You don't need to make the kids smile. You don't need to dance around. And Arcadia, you don't need a YouTube show. Five minutes gone in the match, which means there's only 55 minutes remaining. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know if we can last 55 minutes at this pace. These guys going all out from the opening bell, and like you said, you have to. You know, there really isn't any time for any foolishness. No wasted motion. Danny DeMonto is surviving somehow on the outside of the ring. I wasn't sure if he had retreated to the locker room. Pinky Sanchez is in there with Devin Moore, and I'm telling you, Pinky keeps mugging for the crowd. Big, strong hits. He's got it in him. Get mean, Pinky. Get mean. Nobody's afraid of a guy named Pinky as long as he's dancing up and down. Pinky may have something in mind here. Looking. Oh, boy. Exactly what I was talking about. He's gyrating up there on the, whoa, on the top rope. And he gets knocked off. Let's see if Devin Moore. There he is. Devin straight from Philadelphia. Wide open shot. Whoa. Shooting star press. Biggie Sanchez eliminated. Jerry Strauss, tell me I'm a genius. I told you. And the big lariat from the bigger house. Oh. And he pays for it. Arcadia gets Tomanto in the back of the head. He calls that his YouTube hit. Oh, drops him down. Is that going to be it for Devin Moore? It's yes. poetic justice. After two years because of Devin Moore taking that belt, Arcadia gets his revenge by eliminating Devin Moore, but it may be short-lived as Azrael kicks him in the face and goes for the cover. There you go. He That's knocked it. him out. Uh-oh. Well, Arcadia came what he set out to do and that's get revenge on Devin Moore. Unfortunately, that's where his match ended. I still can't believe DeMonto's in. I can't believe he's in this match. I mean, he's our biggest light heavyweight. Well, did he come to beat these guys or eat them? It's a great question, Jerry Strauss. Great question. That's why they brought you in. Azrael's in trouble, and DeMonto didn't have the speed. Well, no, DeMonto's quickness is not one of his strong suits. That power is, though. He's got a lot more power than anyone uh -oh. else in the ring as he drops Azrael down to the mat hard. I wish I'd had the chance to do a little research on this uh, Danny DeMonto. It's been, it's also been over two years since we've seen him in a Jersey All-Pro ring. 
as Azrael remembers what it's like to have him around. Just like that, one of the favorites gone. Anything can happen in a situation like this, but nobody ever expected Danny DeMonto to walk out of that curtain. And you know, DeMonto used to walk to the ring to Britney Spears' music. I just don't think he's the same competitor since giving that up. Well, he's still in this. Ricky Reyes is in there. Kicking, they're double teaming Bandito Jr. I love this strategy. You got all these guys in the ring at the same time. It's completely legal. Looks like they're forming some kind of partnership, Danny DeMonto and Ricky Reyes. This is what you need to do to win these matches. Thin the herd and then worry about dissolving that partnership later. Bandito's in a world of trouble. Certainly one of the, the crowd favorites, but that may not matter at this point. Well, this is what I'm telling you. These dopes in the crowd don't know who to cheer for. They should be cheering for a winner. Somebody like Danny DeMonto. Somebody like Ricky Reyes. Not Bandito Jr. Yeah, but prime time, you know that any alliance, strictly temporary, these guys at some point are gonna have to turn on one another because there can only be one winner. That's more of that pesky Jerry Strauss long-term thinking. That's not what this is about. Short-term, get a guy out of the ring, then you worry about what's left. Reyes giving Demento a hard look. I don't know if I'd trust either one of these guys with, with, with my wallet, let alone with teaming up in the, one of the biggest matches of the year. Well, I don't know if I trust whoever's in charge of the Jersey All Pro Wrestling scale, but I guess that's his job and not mine. Uh, he must have weighed Danny DeMonto before coming out again. This is the best of the light heavyweights, not super heavyweights. Bandito is going to give it a go here. He's fighting for all he's got, but how much does he have left? Well, come on. Bandito Jr. is not going to be able to take both these guys on. Whoa! Uh -oh. Danny DeMonto takes a swift kick a la Ricky Reyes. Ah, Ricky says, who cares? Let's dissolve this partnership now. Good for you, Ricky. Get that mean streak in. Looking for maybe a pile driver, maybe a power bomb. Whoa! Wowie Kazowie, Danny DeMonto goes down and will he tap? The Cuban crossface locked in tight. Did he? Now does that count as eliminating two light heavyweights? At least. We're left now with just Ricky Reyes and Bandito Jr. I don't think Bandito Jr. has a prayer. He was just beaten on by two men. He's barely got anything left. Ricky Ray has already eliminated Danny DeMonto. It's not going to take long for Bandito Jr. to suffer a similar fate. Bandito's got to try to dig down deep because anything he has deep down may be all he's got left to rely on. The only thing that's going to be dug down deep is that handprint of Bandito Jr. as it pounds on the mat, tapping out to Ricky Reyes here tonight. Going toe to toe with the best striker in the entire field, the Havana Pitbull. One of these two guys is going to be the best of the light heavyweights. <laughs> this is so important. We clean the slate here tonight for Jersey All Pro Wrestling. It's the first show in over 13 months. And we're finding out now we're reacquainting the audience with all that Jersey All Pro Wrestling has to offer. And one of these two men go into the future, whatever that may be of Jersey All Pro Wrestling, as the best light heavyweight. Both men had the same idea at the same time. We have evened out the playing field. It is gut check time in the best of the light heavyweights. The playing field has not evened out. Bandito Jr. is probably going to take a break to go kiss a baby. Oh, uh -oh. and Ricky Reyes is going to get up and give him the pounding that he deserves. Get up, Ricky. Don't prove me wrong. Bandito has got to rely on that quickness. Front face lock. Nope, changes his mind. Reversal by Reyes. Through the legs. Oh. oh, he's caught no on his feet. Bandito gets the Rana. Rana in Spanish means frog, for those that didn't know. Oh, yeah. over. No. Bandito again. Catches himself. Finds an opportunity here. Can he take advantage? A big oh. kick to the head, and I told you. 
Bandito Jr. was looking out into the crowd, trying to gain someone's approval, something Ricky Reyes could care less about, and that's the kind of focus you need to win a best of the light heavyweights match here in Jersey All Pro Wrestling. Oh, check this out. Wow, oh. big superplex off the top rope. Keep in mind, this is only one. Oh, he's gonna go for the cover. Almost had it. This is only one of the featured bouts here tonight. We're still gonna figure out who gets the vacated tag team championship. Is it gonna be Homicide and Eddie Kingston or Philly's Most Wanted? Not to mention, the World Heavyweight Championship will be on the line when Loki faces Dan Mop later tonight. But that aside, Bandito Jr. is going nowhere quickly here in the best of the light heavyweights, matched up with Ricky Reyes. You can taste that victory. He's measuring Bandito. Bandito ready for it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh oh, right to the jaw. And that could be a, yet another knockout blow in this one. Oh, Bandito's waiting for him. Big forearm. I still don't think it's gonna be enough. Bandito up over, no ho, he is caught. Spinning DDT, Ricky Reyes temporarily goes down. No, no! I told you, so, two count only. So close, but yet so far. These fans on the edge of their seats every step of the way. This thing has been 100 miles an hour from the opening bell. And then there were two, but both men refusing to give an inch here. Jerry, they want to find out as badly as we do, the audience that is, who the best of the light heavyweights is. Oh, big sit-down powerbomb. Is that going to be it for Bandito Jr.? Yes, it is. No, it is not. Wow. I'm very rarely wrong. You've been wrong like 17 times already tonight. How dare you count? I'm paying attention to the matches. Bandito Jr. goes down, and I'm about to be right. Again, so close, but yet so far. Reyes, like the pit bull he's named after, relentless. We just heard from the announcer that this match has already been going 15 minutes. He no, got no, no. it! He had the tights! I could have sworn he had the tights there, Jerry. Well, luckily, we can check the video later. But I don't think so. Boy, Bandito Jr., all guts, all heart. He toughed it out. He is the best of the light heavyweights. Well, I guess that question has been answered. The audience appears to be happy, but Ricky Reyes, I can guarantee you, is not going to be happy. I would.